Okay, Pep, okay. Ready, Pep? Catch! Special delivery, Putt Putt! Wowie zowie! Oh boy, it's from Redline Rick. It says I'm invited to join the Car Town 500. Hot ziggity! Well, I hate to run, uh, but I got more mail to um deliver. I'll be talking to you later, Putt Putt. Hey, Pep, come on, pal. <laughs> it's a great day for a race. My gas gauge. <laughs> Tasty treats to tantalize your tummy. You'll find them at Rover's Rocket Ice Cream. Drive on in today for a cool, frosty milkshake or a delicious carton of milk. Traffic is really backed up out by the new construction. Apparently, some pipes are blocking the road. Other than that, car town traffic is really flowing. Join the big race. I can't wait. I sure hope Redline Rick lets me enter the Car Town 500 race. I can't wait to race in the Car Town 500. I've wanted to do it all year. I'm so excited about the race. It's going to be great. <laughs> It's great that Pep can race with me. I bet we're going to have fun. The Car Town 500 race is the best race ever. We better head over to the Speedway and sign up. Too much? Well, I guess I can keep on driving. 
Race around, round, 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 come race around, oh race around, round, 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 yes come on down, down to the speedway. That's right ladies and gentlemen, sign up today for the Car Town 500. <coughs> 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 I win the race, but even if I don't, it'll be fun just to be in it. Cartown Speedway, here I come. Hi, Redline Rick. Well, if it isn't my little buddy Putt Putt, are you here to sign on up for the big Cartown 500 race? You bet, Redline Rick. Pep and I have been waiting all year. Well, <laughs> Putt Putt. If you want to be a race car, you have to be able to grip the road, race like the Dickens, and always keep safety first. So, you might have to get some things. I know! I can get whatever I need in Car Town! Well, here's a list of all the things you'll need to get. You'll need high-powered, high-octane gasoline, super-speed radio racing tires, a safety helmet for Pep, and a triangular flag with the number 5 on it. That's your official number. Thanks, Redline Rick. I can't wait. I better get busy. I have a lot of gear to get before the big race. <laughs> it's the racing form I got from Redline Rick. I still need to find some extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline, some super-speedy radial racing tires, a safety helmet for Pep, and a triangular flag with the number five on it, and then I'll be ready to enter the race. Well, sometimes I miss racing. I miss the feel of speed when rubber meets the road. Well, I'm glad you're here running the speedway. Oh, me too, Putt Putt. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I'm telling you, there's nothing like cruising the blacktop here at the Speedway. Makes my heart and motor race. I can't wait to try it. I tell all my champions, if you want to feel the speed, set a record, go the distance, you got to have safety first. Otherwise, it might just be your last lap. Safety first is great advice. The greatest thing about working the Speedway is I just love the smell of asphalt in the morning. Mm-mm. <laughs> Go Papa, go Papa, racing up and down the speedway. Well, Papa's gonna race and that's a sure bet. He's a groovy little car with a dog named Pep. When he revs up his engine round the speedway, you'll know all the other cars shout and go, Pup Pup go, go Pup Pup go, Pup Pup racing up and down the speedway. When I give the green flag, it's a signal to go. With Pep's new helmet, he'll be safe, you know. To get the power you need, I can feel as a must. Racing with the cars, kicking up all that dust. Go Pup Pup go, Pup Pup racing up and down the speedway. Let's flag a flapping with his number on the side He's the coolest little car on a crazy wild ride The car top 500's the best race to run And a good winning, so let's go have some fun Let's go! Racing round the speedway 
straight to the finish line. He's zooming with the cars, having a grand old time. He's got the extra speed to take the curve so fast. The Cartel 500, sure, it's a blast. Go, Papa, go, Papa, racing up and down the speedway. Go, Papa, go, Papa, racing up and down the speedway. Go, Papa! I got myself a saying, Putt Putt, goes kind of like this. It's not if you win or lose, it's how you race around the track. I'll remember that, Red Line Rick. Well, sometimes I miss racing. I miss the feel of speed when rubber meets the road. Well, I'm glad you're here running the speedway. Oh, me too, Putt Putt. I wouldn't trade it for the world. with my official number on it, some racing tires, some extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline, and a helmet for Pep. That's my gas gauge. <laughs> it says Cartown Speedway. It says Cartown Speedway. remember that when I'm racing. It says toys. I need to get a racing flag with my official number on it, some racing tires, some extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline, and a helmet for Pep. Then I can race in the Car Town 500. <laughs> It says toys. My favorite customer, Butt Butt. Hi, Mrs. Widget. I was just looking around. Oh, you look around to your heart's content. Me, I'm trying out all the new toys in the stock room. I want to make sure they work just right. Have fun. Oh, I always do.
Are you ready to go? says free. Those batteries must be free. Great! These might come in handy. what they're there for. As I always say, the world's a happier place when kids have smiles on their faces and fresh batteries in their toys. Don't mind me. I'm having too much fun back in the stock room. Car Town Color. Whoa, it would be great to get a new paint job. It says Car Town Color. Three cents. Go ahead and slip three coins in that slot, partner. I don't have any coins. I better figure out a way to earn some so I can get a paint job. Whoa, it's an empty bottle. That doesn't belong there. I think I'll recycle it. It'd be great to get a new paint job, but I don't have any coins. I wonder how I can earn some. Oh, now they rough, right? You need to slip three coins in the slot before you can drive through Car Town Color. It says Car Town Color, three cents. Go ahead and slip three coins in that slot, partner. I guess I better figure out a way to earn three coins. The outlook for the weather today for the Car Town 500 couldn't be better. Sunny skies and hardly a cloud in the sky. get a racing flag with my official number on it, some racing tires, some extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline, and a helmet for Pep. Then I can enter the big race. What a tall ladder! I bet that ladder could reach really high places. That ladder is the property of the Car Town Fire Department. Well, if it isn't Pot-Pot, what can I do for you today? I just stopped by to say hi, Smokey. It's always nice to have you visit. Thanks, Chief. So, Pot-Pot, are you going to race in the Car Town 500? I sure hope so, Smokey. There's just a few things I have to get first. Well then, I'm sure you'll have no trouble. The Car Town 500 is quite a race. Almost the whole town will show up to watch it. Are you coming, Smokey? No, not me. I'll be right here at the fire station, on call. That's my gas gauge. I remember last year at the Car Town 500, I got a call to put out a fire on the speedway. 
but it turned out to be a false alarm. Whoa, that's a relief! I bet that ladder could reach really high places. Putt-Putt, I'm sure you'll find everything you need to join the big race. I remember what a great job you did getting ready for the parade. Thanks, Smokey. I remember too. That was fun. <laughs> it's the racing form I got from Redline Rick. I still need to find some extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline, some super speedy radial racing tires, a safety helmet for Pep, and a triangular flag with the number five on it, and then I'll be ready to enter the race. Putt-Putt, I'm sure you'll find everything you need to join the big race. I remember what a great job you did getting ready for the parade. Thanks, Smokey. I remember too. That was fun. That's the bottle I found. I, I don't think I can use that there. Good morning, a putt putt. Good morning, Mr. Baldini. I'm getting ready to race in the Car Town 500. Oh, that is so exciting. You let me know if there's anything I can do to help you. Thanks, Mr. Baldini. I will. Hiya, putt putt. This is a final day for the big race, huh? Don't you think so? Oh, it sure is, Mr. Baldini. It says Baldini's Grocery Store. Baldini's Grocery Store. Hey, you putt putt. I'm getting a little low on produce. How'd you like to do me a favor and go out on the farm and pick me up some more, huh? Sure. What do you need, Mr. Baldini? Well, uh, let me see. I need a one of apple, a one of carrot, and a one of head of cauliflower. Okay, I can get that. Excellent. You bring them back to me in this box, and I'll give you two coins, but but. Gee, thanks. I could use some coins, Mr. Baldini. Great. Uh, well, a good luck. <laughs> I've always wanted to join the big race. I can't wait. Did you pick up my produce yet, Putt-Putt? No, Mr. Baldini, not yet. But I will. That's a great. Did you pick up my produce yet, Putt-Putt? Not yet. But don't worry, I will. That's a great. <laughs> It's Cartown Gas. It's extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline. That's just what Redline Rick said I needed for the big race. Great! Wow, this is extra high-powered. Is your finish looking dull? Is your shine fading away? Well, don't delay. Come to Cartown Car Wash today. All you gotta do is put your two cents in. Two cents for a new look, a new shine, a totally new you. Car Town Car Wash. Drive on down and put your two cents in. I need to get a racing flag with my official number on it, some racing tires, some extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline, and a helmet for Pep. Then I'll be ready for the big race. It's regular gas. I think I'll try a little. I think I'll have a couple more drops. 
extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline. Fill her up. Whoa, I'm humming like a race car. This bottle doesn't belong on the ground. It should be recycled. It says air. It says air. It says water. Those bottles need to be recycled. Regular gas. Okie dokie, fill her up. Hey, I should clean my windshield. That last bug really made a mess. Ah, squeaky clean. That's much better. It's the car town wash. That extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline doesn't last very long. I should take some of it with me to the race so I can use it there. An empty bottle? This doesn't belong here. I should recycle it. Put two coins in the slot, please. I don't have two coins. Put two coins in the slot, please. I better get to work and figure out a way to earn two coins. It says Car Town Car Wash, two cents. Put two coins in the slot, please. I guess I have to go figure out a way to earn some money so I can take a car wash. It's the Car Town Wash. It'd be fun to get cleaned up, but I don't have any coins. I... <laughs> At Adorable's farm, the vegetables are popping up and the fruits are filling in. The latest report is that the crops are above average and real good looking this year. Drive on out and take a look. I'm sorry. You need to put two coins into the slot before you can enter the cartel wash. Hey, it's Chuck! And it looks like he's in trouble. race in the Car Town 500. I've wanted to do it all year. Putt Putt, how's my little buddy? I'm fine, Chuck, but what happened to you? Oh, one of my rubber radials hit a nail, popped it like a balloon. <laughs> I'm one stuck Chuck. Maybe I can help. If you would, I'd be a happy tow truck. How's about heading over to my tire setter and picking me up a tire patch kit? And judging by my tire, you'll need to cut it into a triangle. Oh, I can do that, Chuck. Thanks, little buddy. I'd be much obliged. Remember, once you track down that tire patch kit, you gotta cut it on out in a triangle so I can fix my tire proper like. I'll remember that, Chuck. Hope you can track down my tire patch kit over at my tire center. I'm sure I can find it, Chuck. I'm a pretty good finder. I know, and that's why I ask you to help me out. Hi, Outback Al. Well, if it isn't Putt-Putt, long time no see, matey. How do you like my newest addition? It's a baby lemur. Oh, it's really cute. Stayed home today to take care of the little bugger. Only problem is, he's hungrier than a crocodile in a grub nest, and I can't for the life of me remember what he eats. Wouldn't help either, because I can't leave him alone to go buy anything anyway. 
Maybe I could find out what he eats and then pick it up for you out back, Al. Jackaroo, you're on. Uh. Is that a racing flag? It sure is, Putt-Putt. Why? Did you need it for something? I sure do. For the Car Town 500. Go ahead and take it. I don't need it. Gee, thanks. But first, I'll bring you some food for your baby mm. lemur. He looks hungry. That's so nice of Outback Al to offer me his racing flag. But before I take it, I think I'll get some food for his baby lemur. It's a baby lemur. This little fella was sent all the way from the island of Madagascar. Showed up on my doorstep in the middle of the night. I've tried feeding him some shrimp from the barbie. He's just not interested. That's okay. I'll find out the right thing to feed him. Don't worry. I know you will, matey. I wish I could remember what you ate, little fella. I hope you find out what this little guy eats soon. You'd be doing me a huge favor. Don't worry, I'll find out for you out back out, and whatever it is, I'll bring him lots. Thank you. You're a lifesaver, Putt-Putt. I need to head over to Chuck's Tire Center and pick up a tire patch kit for Chuck. He's probably waiting for me. That's the racing flag Outback Al said he'd give me. Before I take it, I think I'll get some food for his lemur. It's a baby lemur. This little fella was sent all the way from the island of Madagascar. Showed up on my doorstep in the middle of the night. Well, he's very cute. Mr. Fender Bender, how'd your cat get stuck up in the tree? It's a wacky thing, Pit Pit. Bonzo just ran out of the house and charged up my cheek. I mean, charged up my tree. Now he can't get down. At least he's got his safety helmet on. It's too high to reach, but maybe I can find something I can use to get him down for you, Mr. Fender Bender. That's a crackerjack idea, son. It'll sure be fun to be able to drive fast around the racetrack, but I'll always have to remember to be safe. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Bonzo's wearing that safety helmet. Thank goodness Bonzo's got that safety helmet on. Redline Rick says it's not if you win or lose, it's how you race around the track. I'll have to remember that when I'm racing. Need a little zing in your life? Drive on over to Cartown Gas and try high-powered, high-octane gasoline. It makes your engine rev really fast. Well, if I were taller, I'd just reach right up there and grab that giddy. I mean, grab that kitty. Well, don't worry, Mr. Fender Bender. I'll get him down for you. I promise. Well, that would be dandy. Bonzo's a crazy crat. I, I mean a crazy cat. At least he's being safe. After all, he's wearing his safety helmet. That is one screwball kitty. Sure hope you can figure out how to set him goon. I, I mean, get him soon. Oh, I will, Mr. Fender Bender. You'll see. 
Maybe after I earn my junior fire marshal badge, I can borrow Smokey's ladder and help Bonzo get down from there. It says Nailers Wanted. Yo, so Slapsy, I got a joke. Yeah? What else is new? Okay, so try me. Cowboy rode to an inn on Friday, he stayed two nights, and left on Friday. How could that be? Don't know. His horse's name was Friday. Oh, <laughs> you <laughs> get it? I get it, I get it. Yo, so Maxi, I got a joke. Yeah, what else is new? Okay, so try me. Well, what do you get when you cross a cow and a pogo stick? Um, got, uh, I don't know, Slapsy. A milkshake! I knew that, I knew that! <laughs> oh, man. It says Nailers Wanted. Uh-oh, those pipes are blocking the road. They're too heavy for me to move. Uh-oh, those pipes are blocking the road. They're too heavy for me to move. Hi, Putt-Putt. Where are you going? I was hoping to head over the hill, Pete, but it looks like the road's blocked. It sure is. I lost my hook somewhere this morning. I heard it drop off with a clank, but I don't remember where. Without my hook, I can't move even one of these pipes. I don't know what to do. Maybe I can find your hook for you. Oh, Putt-Putt, that would be so great. I could get this job done and be done in time to go see the Cartown 500. Okay, Pete, I'll keep my eyes open. What kind of animal should you never play cards with? Uh, I don't know. A cheetah? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Not like you. <laughs> hey, hey, what's that? Knock, knock. Who's there? Jimmy. Jimmy who? Jimmy cracked corn and I don't care. Oh, yeah, I don't care either. <laughs> oh! Come on. All right, I'm with you now. It's the Barnyard series. Knock, knock. Who's there? Little old lady. Little old lady who? Jeez, I didn't know you could yodel. Yodel lady who? Oh, <laughs> I guess I could. <laughs> Why do seagulls fly over the ocean? Uh. Gee, I'm stumped, Flapsy. Because if they flew over a bay, they would be called bagels. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one, that's a good one. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Hey, banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? <laughs> uh, Aren't you fair. glad I did not that say that banana? That what do you mean? That that you got me on that um, Yeah, I got you. That's the whole idea. Uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Panther. Panther who? Panther falling down. Don't you have a belt? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you did did you me get it? Yeah, 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 you got your panther falling yeah, down. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now where do toads put their feet when they need a rest? Oh, uh, toads! Hey, hey, you're hey, good, yeah, Max. Yeah, you're one. really good. I, I didn't one. think I'd get yeah, too past no, you there. right. I got that one. Yeah, it's good. Knock, knock. Who's there? Grape. Grape who? Grape haircut you got there. You like <laughs> oh, it's a joke! Yeah, it's a joke. <laughs> you fooled yeah, me. Yeah, I thought yeah, you yeah. liked my haircut. <laughs> no, I don't like your haircut. Oh, okay. What happened to the frog that broke down? It got towed away. <laughs> it towed away. It got towed okay, away. I I I <laughs> not that towed away. It got towed away. <laughs> it's like a, not, a tow a, truck. A toad. A frog is a toad. You know, it's a, a toad in a, yeah, it's a frog in a tree. Is a toad. Make if it get broke down, because it, it get... got towed away. It's a yeah, toad. Yeah, it's gonna turn into a toad. Oh, will you fry up? It's gonna get break down and oh, turn into a toad. Forget about it. I don't get it. I'm so glad you've offered to help me, Putt Putt. You're a real pal. Thanks, but I haven't found your hook yet. I will, though. I'm pretty sure of it. Thanks, Putt-Putt. You're a real pal. 
Here's one. Oh, oh this is good. You're gonna like it. <clears throat> what do you get when you cross a porcupine with a balloon? Um, the what? What? Pop. Ah. Oh yeah. Okay. I get it. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> all right. I get it. I get it. Yeah. All right. Knock knock. Who's there? Wendy. Wendy who? A wandering red robin come pop 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 and along, hey, yeah, along. <laughs> hey, 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 like that, huh? Yeah. Hey, all right. Knock, knock. Who's there? Olive. Olive who? I love you, man. <laughs> Olive, oh, you. Man. you. <laughs> hey, get this guy to sleep in here. All right, all right. What do you call a cat that walks across the sand? I don't know. What do I know about cats? Nothing, so I will tell you the answer if you listen. Please. You call a cat. Sandy Claus. <laughs> oh, Sandy Claus. Brother. Sandy Claus. Yeah. Yes. What does a vampire stand on after taking a shower? Uh, I don't know, Slaps. He would. A Batman. Oh. <laughs> yeah, a <the> Batman. <laughs> so, brother, my boy, where does a bird go when it loses its tail? Uh, that beats me. The retail store. <laughs> Knock, knock. Who's there? Althea. Althea. Oh. Althea later, alligator. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that one coming at all. No uh. way. Knock, knock. Who's there? Cargo. Cargo who? No, a cargo beep beep. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, beep beep. <laughs> okay, now where do toads put their feet when they need a rest? Oh, uh, toast! Hey, you're yeah, good, Maxie. Yeah, you're really one. good. I, I didn't one. think I'd get yeah. too past no, you there. No, it's all right. I got that one. Yeah, good. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mice. Mice who? Mice to meet you, Slapsy. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Pig. Pig who? Pick up your feet before you trip. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you the better watch out yeah. where you're going, <laughs> <laughs> man. Knock, knock. Who's there? Andy... It says nailers wanted. Knock, knock. Who's there? Wooden shoes. Wooden shoes, oh! Yeah, wooden shoes like to know. Yeah, <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, that's a Dutch joke, isn't it? Yeah. What kind of animal should you never play cards with? Uh, I don't know. A cheetah? Ah! <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Not like you. <laughs> hey, hey, what's that? Knock, knock. Who's there? Shelby. Shelby who? Shelby coming around the mountain. Oh, she comes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Knock, knock. Who's there? Kook. Kook who? Hey, who you calling Cuckoo? <laughs> oh, yo. Yeah, well, you are you kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Knock, knock. Who's there? Panther. Panther who? Panther falling down. Don't you have a belt? Oh! <laughs> you <laughs> you get it? Yeah, 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 you got your panther falling yeah, down. Yeah. yeah. I sure do hope you can find my hook, Putt-Putt. Don't you worry, Pete. I'll just keep on looking. <laughs> Hi, Betsy Bulldozer. Hey, Putt Putt, I noticed this empty bottle just sitting here on the ground. Would you mind if I picked it up and took it to the recycling center? Are you kidding? Go on and take it. Great, thanks. Hey, Putt Putt. Still getting your gear together for the race? I sure am, Betsy Bulldozer. Between you and me, Butt Butt, I'm hoping you win the race. Thanks, Betsy. I've been working in construction all the ding dang day. I've been working in construction. Oh, I like to work this way. If I can 
get off work on time, I may roll on down to the speedway and watch the race. It's going to be really exciting. You bet your bumpers it is. Dig, dig, dig the dirt, make a muddy pile. Move it around that dirt on the ground, digging makes me smile. If I can get off work on time, I may roll on down to the speedway and watch the race. It's going to be really exciting. You bet your bumpers it is. Maybe I should go help Betsy Bulldozer pound some nails in. I think I saw a sign that said, Nailers Wanted. Do you mind if I pound in some of those nails back there? Not at all, Putt-Putt. Have at it. Thanks. Wow, look at all the nails. I better get to work. Here I go. Better get to work. Ready? Go! I've got to pound all these nails in. Here I go. Pound all these nails in. Here I go. Pound all these nails in. Here I go. Here comes some more nails. Ready? Go. Pound all these nails in. Here I go. Should we stop playing now? Hey, Putt Putt. Still getting your gear together for the race? I sure am, Betsy Bulldozer. bother him. He's reading.
shouldn't bother him. He's reading. Hey, numbers! Red Line Rick said I need my official number on my racing flag. Looks like I need to find a flag first, though. Those are the library safety scissors. I can use them to cut out shapes. But I don't have anything I want to cut now. I hope I can find Pete Crane's hook. He sure is sad without it. of the alphabet. I'd like to take a look at that. A is for aardvark. Aardvarks have long tongues like worms, eating stuff that makes us squirm. Termites and ants, they love to crunch, though sometimes they eat green grapes for lunch. A is for aardvark. Aardvark... B. B is for bush baby. In Africa lives the bush baby, though a baby he is not. At night, he swings from tree to tree, and in daytime, he sleeps a lot. C is for Capybara. This fellow's huge, I tell you, and he's related to a rat, and he looks just like a guinea pig, only bigger than all that. D. D is for Dugong. Dugongs live beneath the sea, but pop up to breathe the air. They mostly chomp on grasses, growing under sea down there. E. E is for emu. The emu is a really big bird who stands about five feet high. It has wings and feathers like a bird, but the emu, it can't fly. F. F is for fat dormouse. The fat dormouse is always hungry, eating everything it sees. But his favorite food of all, I'm told, is dried up pumpkin seeds. G. G is for Greater Bilby. The Greater Bilby is funny to see because on its nose is growing hair. But the Bilby isn't spotted much because it's very rare. H. H is for Hyrax. The Hyrax, it's just two feet tall and related to the elephant. It's so very strange to think that's true, but it's the information I've been sent. I. I is for Ibex. An ibex is a wild goat with curly horns that grow so tall. It jumps and climbs up rocky cliffs, but hardly ever slips or falls. J. J is for jerboa. The jerboa is so tiny, and it jumps about three feet high. And when it makes these mighty leaps, it feels like it can fly. K. K is for kinkajou. In South America lives the kinkajou. I've never seen one up close, have you? They love to lap up honey the best, sticking their tongues into buzzing bees' nests. L. L is for lemur. Lemurs are primates with black ring tails. They climb up trees, then leap and sail. The grown-ups feed on plants and leaves, but milk is what the babies need. Oh, the babies drink milk. I should go find some so Outback Al can feed his baby lemur. M. M is for mud skipper. The mud skipper, you must understand, lives in water as well as on land. Like other fish, he's born with gills, but he also breathes through his mouth at will. N. N is for Numbat. The Numbat lives to gobble termites. He looks for them both day and night. He eats more than 20,000 a day, but I wonder how many get away. O. O is for Okapi. The Okapi is related to the giraffe. She lives in Africa, and this may make you laugh. Her tongue is the longest I've ever seen, and she can even lick her eyelids clean. P. P is for pool cat. Like a cross between a skunk and weasel is this critter called a pool cat. When it gets mad, it lifts its tail and lets out a stink in seconds flat. Q. Q is for quokka. The quokka is a fuzzy kind of wallaby related to the kangaroo, you see. Quokkas spring and hop and crouch and hold their babies in their pouch. R. 
R is for Rattel. The Rattel looks almost like a skunk, but this guy, he has a lot more spunk. He eats buffalo and poison snakes and never gets a bellyache. F. S is for Sugar Glider. The Sugar Glider looks like a flying squirrel. From tree to tree, it glides and twirls. It loves to eat anything that's sweet. Flowers and sap make a tasty treat. T. T is for Tarsier. Here's a little mammal called a Tarsier. He hunts at night and sleeps all day. His eyes are big as big can be. He has sticky feet to climb up trees. U. U is for Walkeree. In the Amazon lives this monkey, and Walkeree is his name. He's got a bright red face, you see, and it's his claim to fame. V. V is for Viscacha. Viscachas live underground in burrows, sharing them with snakes and squirrels. They heap piles of junk upon their homes, from lost toys to trash to stones and bones. W. W is for Wombat. The Wombat has great spiky hair, and he's roly-poly as a bear. If he's chased, he runs to hide, finds a hole, and sticks his head inside. X. X is for Xyphosura. Xyphosura is quite a proper name, but he's a horseshoe crab all the same. He has lived in mudflats along the coast for 300 million years, and that's no boast. Why? Why is for Yak. In Asia lives the great wild Yak, who has a hairy head and a hairy back. The parents graze on grass and leaves, and babies drink the milk they need. Z. Z is for Zorilla. A Zorilla is related to the skunk, I think, and when he's scared, he shoots out a stink. Don't mess with him or he'll get mad, and you'll be smelling something really bad. I'm so excited about the race. It's going to be great. That's my gas gauge. Ever picked a car full of cauliflower? A ton of tomatoes? Come on over to Baldini's Grocery Store, where a part-time produce picker is wanted. Baldini's, where picking produce is like putting coins in your pocket. not very well. Ralphie buried Mr. Airbag's new hubcaps in the backyard. Mr. Airbag's not going to be too pleased about that, I can assure you. Maybe I can help you dig them up, Mrs. Airbag. Oh, Putt-Putt, that would be wonderful. Great! Now all I have to do is find a shovel and I'll be back. Thank you so much, Putt-Putt. Once I raced in the big race, did you know that? No. How did you do? I came in second, right behind Tammy Torpedo. That's great! Are you planning to race in the Car Town 500, Putt-Putt? I'm sure hoping to, Mrs. Airbag. I think it'll be a blast. Are you planning to race in the Car Town 500, Putt-Putt? I'm sure hoping to, Mrs. Airbag. I think it'll be a blast. I'll need a shovel before I can dig up Mrs. Airbag's backyard. <laughs> Oh no, that shed is on fire. What should I do? That looks like a pretty big fire. I'll bet I can use that phone to get help. Fires are dangerous. I'd better call for help. Ha, ha, ha. 
The Car Town 500. The countdown starts right now for the biggest race of the year. Five, four, three, two, one. Red Line Rick here. Grab your official gear and motor down to the speedway. See if you can go the distance in the... I'm not going to get near that fire. It's dangerous. I need to let Smokey the fire engine know about it. I'll bet I can use that phone to get help. Nine. One. One. This is 911. Please do not hang up until I tell you to. First, what is the problem? There's a fire. And what is your name? Putt-Putt. And what's the address of the fire, Putt-Putt? It's the old shed out on Valley Road. Okay, Putt-Putt. Smokey's on his way. You may hang up the phone now. Okay. He's here. Wow, that was fast. Thanks for calling 911, Putt-Putt. Now stay over here where you're safe, and I'll put this fire out. <sighs> Mission accomplished. And now, Putt-Putt, I believe you've earned a special reward. Your Junior Fire Marshal badge, because you alerted me to an emergency. Wow, thanks, Smokey. Believe me, you earned it, Putt-Putt. Enjoy. I hope to see you around. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to head back to the station. Bye, Smokey. I need to get a racing flag with my official number on it, some racing tires, some extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline, and a helmet for Pep. Then I can enter the big race. Thank goodness nobody was in that shed when it was burning. They could have been hurt. Fires can be dangerous. I'm sure glad I called 911. Smokey did a great job putting out that fire. Fires can be dangerous. I'm sure glad I called 911. of a horn. Hmm. Uh-oh. I honk. It's my turn. What was that I ran over? Well, who knows, because I can't see a thing. It's great that Pep can race with me. I bet we're going to have fun. It'll be great if I win the race. But even if I don't, it'll be fun just to be in it. But you want that old thing? It's not really working. Do you know what's wrong with it, Torval? Oh, yeah. No batteries. Go ahead and take it. Gee, thanks. Oh, don't you go mentioning it now.
from the ground. They're orange and they're crunchy and they're also good for you. A carrot is so tasty, even cooked into a stew. This way. Mr. Baldini wanted me to pick up some things at your farm. Oh yeah, he told me all about that. You go right ahead. Thanks. You gonna go out to the fields, Putt Putt? Folks say my crops are above average and real good looking this year. Great, I'll have to check them out. If you want to grow up big and strong, always feeling fine, try some of my spinach, it's great anytime. All leafy and so green, it really hits the spot. Spinach is the vegetable that can help you grow a lot. Hi, Torval Tractor. Oh, hey there, Putt Putt. Hello, Torval. Hey there again, Putt Putt. A salad is a treat. Any time at all, just get a head of lettuce all round and in a ball. Break apart the leaves so fresh and good for you. The lettuce that they grow is the best, I think it's true. Hi, Torval Tractor. Oh, hey there, Pot, but I love to eat the summer squash all mashed up in a pot or sliced up on my plate. I've got to eat a lot of all the vegetables I grow deep within the ground. I have to say that summer squash is the best I've ever found. Yeah! I need to be on the lookout for the fruits and vegetables for Mr. Baldini. I'll have to get closer if I want to pick that. It says farm. I can't reach that. I can't pick anything right there. Beets. I don't think Mr. Baldini wanted any of those. I don't see anything I can pick right there. There isn't anything I can pick there. Mr. Baldini didn't need any of that. I wonder which way I should go to get there. Look, broccoli! Mr. Baldini didn't need any of those. Cool! A pumpkin! I don't think Mr. Baldini wanted one of these. Hmm, I wonder which way I should go to get there. Hey, it's a zucchini. I don't think Mr. Baldini wanted any of that. I, how do I get there? Cabbage. I don't think Mr. Baldini wanted any of these. I still need to find an apple, a carrot, and a head of cauliflower. Look, a pear! I don't think Mr. Baldini wanted any of those. Mr. Baldini didn't need any of those. Apples! I need some of those. I think I'll pick some. I 
wonder which way I should go to get there. Corn! I don't think Mr. Baldini wanted any of these. Driving around in Torval's field sure is fun! Hmm, I can't drive straight there. I wonder if I can get close enough to reach that. Ooh, grapes! I already picked an apple. I still need to find a carrot and a head of cauliflower. I need one of those for Mr. Baldini. I think I'll pick it. Check it out, cauliflower. I need one of those. I think I'll pick it. Great, I found everything for Mr. Baldini. He'll be so excited. I don't think I can pick anything there. I can't pick anything right there. Driving around in Torval's field sure is fun! I wonder which way I should go to get there. I can't drive straight there. Driving around in Torval's field sure is fun. There isn't anything I can pick there. I don't think I can pick anything there. How do I get there? Torval Tractor. Hey there, Putt Putt. I found all the things Mr. Baldini wanted. Good for you, Putt Putt. What can be a chip or a fry so yummy? Potatoes are appealing, especially in my tummy. For breakfast or for lunch, or even for a snack. Potatoes are so good, come and get them by the sack. Hey, I bet the flashlight I got from Torval can use these batteries. Perfect! 
I'm not sure that... It's a hook! I bet it's the one that Pete Crane lost! It's a great day for a race! Hot ziggity! A bottle! Nobody was in that shed when it was burning. They could have been hurt. After I give Pete his hook, he can move those pipes and I can keep on driving. Put Put, you're back. Yep, and guess what, Pete? I think I found your hook back in the tunnel near the farm. Oh, Putt-Putt, I hope that's really my hook. I can't wait to see it. Here's the hook, Pete. Is it yours? Is it ever? Putt-Putt, you are a great pal. Why don't you hook it back on me, and I'll get these pipes moved. Thanks, Putt-Putt. Okay, stand back. I've got work to do. <gasps> All clear. Thanks again, Putt-Putt. It sure feels great to be able to work again. You're welcome, Pete. Boy, I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't found my hook, Putt-Putt. You sure are a great pal. I'm glad to help, Pete. You're a great pal, too. Good luck at the Cartown 500 race, Putt-Putt. I know you'll do great. Thanks, Pete. It's going to be fun. Hey, Pete, are you going to enter the Cartown 500 race? I'd love to, but I can't, Putt-Putt. That extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline makes me backfire something fierce. Ah, gee, Pete, that's too bad. You know, Putt-Putt, I like working at construction. I like lifting heavy things, and I'm good at it, too. You sure are, Pete. Hey, Pete, are you going to enter the Car Town 500 race? I'd love to, but I can't, Putt-Putt. That extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline makes me backfire something fierce. Aw, gee, Pete, that's too bad. <laughs> Put -put. Do you mind if I take this bottle for recycling? Of course not. It's all yours. Thanks. <laughs> I'll have a carton of milk, please, Rover. Freshest you'll find anywhere, Putt Putt. Coming right up. Here you go. Thanks. What do I owe you? Are you kidding? I owe you. I mean, you're the guy who brought me back from the moon. It's free to you, Putt-Putt, always. Gee, Rover, that's really nice. That's really cold. Thanks, Rover. I think I'll hold on to this. again, Putt-Putt. Just order up when you're ready. Okay, Rover, I will. Put your top down and turn your radio up to high blast. It's Wacky Zany Crazy KTR Cartoons Radio. I'll have a giant jumbo milkshake, please, Rover. Best and biggest in car town, Putt-Putt. Coming right up. Here you go. I love milkshakes!
Have you ever been in the big race before, Putt-Putt? No, I haven't, but I've always wanted to. Ever think about visiting the moon again, Putt-Putt? Maybe. It could be fun. How about you? I don't know. Right now, I'm really happy to be right here in Cartown with all my great friends. What do you think of the remodel job I did on the rocket? It looks as good as new, Rover. Better than when we flew it back from the moon. I already have some milk. I don't need any more right now. Hey, I heard you're thinking about racing in the Cartown 500. I am, Rover. I think it'll be fun. It'll be more than fun. It'll be great. Yeah, I can't wait. What do you think of the remodel job I did on the rocket? It looks as good as new, Rover. Better than when we flew it back from the moon. One more giant jumbo milkshake, Rover. Glad to. Ah, I love milkshakes. The sign says, closed. I need to help Chuck fix his tire so he can get back to work here at the tire center. Wow, a bottle! I should recycle this. When Chuck gets back, I'm going to see if I can buy some of those tires. Great, it's a tire patch kit. Chuck said I could take one so I can help him patch his tire. Now, all I have to do is go find some scissors so I can cut it out. The sign says, closed. I need to help Chuck fix his tire so he can get back to work here at the tire center. Super Speedy Radial Racing Tires. Those are the kind Redline Rick told me I need to enter the Car Town 500. Super Speedy Radial Racing Tires. Those are the kind Redline Rick told me I need to enter the Car Town 500. Hi, Mr. Crankcase. Well, bust my bumper if it isn't Putt Putt. Here, look at all the junk, eh? Mm -hmm. I guess so. There sure is a lot of it. Yeah, isn't it great? Nice thing about junk, you can reuse it again and again. I once made a flying machine out of old clock pots and some sheets. Wow, I bet that was neat. Sure was. Didn't fly, though. I'm still working on that part. You're telling me? Accidentally bumped into those shelves this morning and nearly twisted my lug nuts. I can hardly bend over to put all that stuff back on the shelf. Oh, don't worry. I can put it back for you. You do that and I'd be more tickled than a newly tuned turbo engine. Have to warn you, though. There's only one way everything fits. Stuff was packed in there pretty darn tight. Okay, Mr. Crankcase. I'll remember that.
Well, it's all done. That sure was a lot of fun, Mr. Crankcase. Thanks for letting me help. No, thank you. You're the one who needs to be thanked. You're very welcome, Mr. Crankcase. Hey, folks. Don't forget to recycle those bottles. Do your part to keep Cartown clean. Take your empties to Mr. Crankcase's Junk and Recycling today. <laughs> hey, Putt Putt. Thanks again for helping me with my mess of valuable junk. It's always a pleasure to tidy up your treasures, Mr. Crankcase. Nice thing about junk, you can reuse it again and again. I once made a flying machine out of old clock pots and some sheets. Wow, I bet that was neat. Sure was. Didn't fly, though. I'm still working on that part. I'll need to put in two more bottles before I can recycle them. I'll need to put in one more bottle before I can recycle them. Wow, I earned a coin! This recycling machine sure is neat! I'll need to put in two more bottles before I can recycle them. I'll need to put in one more bottle before I can recycle them. before I can recycle them. I'll need to put in one more bottle before I can recycle them. This recycling machine sure is neat! Try to cut the tire patch kit with these scissors. Then I can help Chuck fix his flat tire. I need to cut this tire patch kit for Chuck. Now which shape did Chuck need his tire patch kit cut into? I cut a square. Now I can help Chuck his flat tire. Putt putt, by any chance did you pick up that tire patch kit? I did, Chuck. Well, if that isn't something, did you get it cut out the right way? I sure did. How about that? Well, patch me up, little buddy. I can't wait. Here you go, Chuck. Here's your tire patch kit. Why, Putt-Putt, are you ever something? Is it all cut out in the right and proper shape? Well, I cut it into a square. That's great, Putt-Putt. But the hole in my tire is triangle shape. See? Oh, that's right. I'm sorry, Chuck. I'll go back to the library and cut out the tire patch kit in the right shape. Don't worry. You can count on me, Chuck. I know I can, Putt-Putt. Thanks, little buddy. You're welcome, Chuck. I can use that there. Chuck needs his tire patch cut into the right shape. I need to cut this tire patch kit so I can help Chuck fix his flat tire. I need a new sheet. That shape is a triangle. I 
it a triangle. Now I can help Chuck fix his flat tire. Here you go, Chuck. Here's your tire patch kit, cut into a triangle. Why, Putt-Putt, are you ever something? Why don't you slap that thing on me so I can be on my way? Okay, here goes. Good as new. Thanks to you. Well, I better get rolling. Drop by the tire center anytime, Putt-Putt. I'd be more than happy to give you a deal on a new set of tires. Wow, I could use a set of super speedy radial racing tires for the big race. Well then, come on down, little buddy. I'll make you a deal of a lifetime. See ya. Here you go, Mr. Baldini. Thank you, Putt-Putt. And just like I promised, here's a two of coins. Thanks. You're welcome. And if you want to fill up another produce box, you just let me know. <laughs> it says Baldini's Grocery Store. Maybe I'll come on out to the Speedway and watch the race, huh? That would be great. Whoa, it's an empty bottle. That doesn't belong there. I think I'll recycle it. That's one of three. Now just two more and you're through the door. That's two, Buckaroo, thank you kindly. Yeehaw, that's all three. Get ready to drive on through. Wowie zowie! Pick your color, cowboy. Cool blue. I hope this looks good. Now close your eyes real tight, partner. Hey, partner, have a peek. Looking good. Hot ziggity, that was fun. Sixty-eight, sixty-eight, sixty-eight funny cars. Coming soon to the Car Town Speedway, it's 68 Funny Cars, featuring Red Rider Rickshaw and Mean Clyde Green. They'll make you laugh, they'll make you giggle, because they're really funny cars. All 68 of them. <laughs> Back out. Hi there, Putt Putt. Here it is. Some food for the baby. Well, aren't you a lifesaver? Can't thank you enough. <laughs> oh, and did you need that old racing flag for something? I sure do. For the Car Town 500. It's all yours, Putt-Putt. Thanks, Outback Al. That's really nice of you. Oh, don't mention it. You help me out, I'll help you out. That's what friends are for. Well, this is great. 
Now I just need to put my official racing number on it. This little lemur is happier than a baby with a bottle. Thanks again. You're welcome. This little lemur is happier than a baby with a bottle. Thanks again. You're welcome. Bonzo sure is bonkers. It's my racing flag. I still need to put my official racing number on it. Number five. It's my very own junior fire marshal badge. Bonzo's a crazy cat. I, I mean a crazy cat. At least he's being safe. After all, he's wearing his safety helmet. It's a bottle! Do you mind if I recycle this, Chuck? Of course not, little buddy! Take it! It's yours! Thanks! Hi, Chuck! Hey, little buddy! Have yourself a look around! I'm here if you have any questions! Thanks! Chuck, I was wondering if I could buy a set of those super speedy radial racing tires. Redline Rick says these are the kind I need to enter the Car Town 500. Best tire on the market! Am I ever going to make you a deal since you helped me out today? Gee, thanks, Chuck. How much are they? Normally, they're two coins a piece. But for you, I'll give you all four tires for only four coins. That's a savings of four whole coins. But right now, I only have one coin. Guess I'll have to earn three more. The Super Speedy Radial Racing Tire is the best racing tire money can buy. I bet they'll help me go fast. No doubt, little buddy. Along here, I should recycle it. That's one coin. That's two coins. Thank you. You may now drive through. Hot ziggity. Okay, I'm ready for a car wash. It's the attack of the tickling brushes. It's going to rain! No sting bubbles! Ah! 
No sting bubbles. It's time for a shower. Town 500. I've wanted to do it all year. I'm not sure that will work. Hey, neat! I bet these numbers would work great on my triangular racing flag. Look at all the numbers! Redline Rick told me I need to have my official number on my racing flag. Let's see, I think he said, I need a five. That's a five. That's the number I need for my flag. That's an eight. That's a five. That's the number I need for my flag. I shouldn't bother him, he's reading. Hey, me! I bet these numbers would work great on my triangular racing flag. Hi, Mr. Fender Bender. I'm back. Looks like Bonzo's still stuck up in the tree. You said it, that crazy cat. I mean crazy cat. It's my racing flag. It's got it's a flashlight. I put those three batteries in it. <laughs> it's my very own Junior Fire Marshal badge. I'm sure you'll find everything you need to join the big race. I remember what a great job you did getting ready for the parade. Thanks, Smokey. I remember too. That was fun. Excuse me, Smokey. Is it okay with you if I borrow your ladder now? Of course, Pot Pot. After all, you've earned your Junior Fire Marshal badge. Thanks, Smokey. Be sure to return it. Hang in there, Bonzo. I think maybe I have something tall enough to help get you down. <coughs> Sure hope you get Bonzo down from there soon with whatever it is you said you have. Okay, Mr. Fender Bender, I will. I've always wanted to join the big race. I can't wait. I have a ladder, Mr. Fender Bender. Maybe I can help get him down. Don't let me stop you, son. I mean, stop you, son. Go for it. Here, Bonzo. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. My dings and dents, you did it! Now let's take this helmet off you once and for all, Bonzo. Bonzo won't climb trees if he doesn't have a helmet on. I think I'll just get rid of it. If you don't want it, Mr. Fender Bender, I wouldn't mind having it. 
I need a helmet for Pep so we can enter the Car Town 500. By all means. I mean, by all means. You take it, son. I'd be bonkers to let Bonzo wear that thing again. Thanks, Mr. Fender Bender. I'm going to the store to get some kitty bits. I'll drop off the ladder at the fire station for you, Putt Putt. Don't worry, Putt Putt. I'll take the ladder back to Smokey for you. It's the least I can loo. I mean, the least I can do. Don't worry, Putt Putt. I'll take the ladder back to Smokey for you. It's the least I can loo. I mean, the least I can do. I just stopped by to see how you were doing. Well, except for a few fence in my dender. I mean, dents in my fender. I couldn't be better. Certainly has a charm. I can shred it for a salad or boil it for a stew. The cabbage that I grow is a gift from me to you. Look at the Cartown 500 race, Putt Putt. I know you'll do great. Thanks, Pete. It's going to be fun. I have to earn two more coins. Then Chuck will sell me those super speedy radial racing tires. The super speedy radial racing tire is the best racing tire money can buy. I bet they'll help me go fast. No doubt, little buddy. I'll need to put in two more bottles before I can recycle them. I'll need to put in one more bottle before I can recycle them. Sure is neat. I'll need to put in two more bottles before I can recycle them. I'll need to put in one more bottle before I can recycle them. Sure is neat. Maybe if I look around, I can find some more bottles to recycle. Hey, Putt Putt. Thanks again for helping me with my mess of valuable junk. It's always a pleasure to tidy up your treasures, Mr. Crankcase. <laughs> Chuck, guess what? I've got four coins. I have enough money. Well, how about that? Hand them over, little buddy, and you got yourself a brand new set of tires. Here you go, Chuck. Four coins. Thank you kindly, Putt-Putt. Now I'm going to have to measure you with these calipers to make sure those tires will fit you. 
<laughs> Don't worry, it ain't gonna hurt. Well, well, a perfect fit. Putt, putt, you just bought yourself some primo, top of the line, super speedy radio racing tires. Would you like me to put them on you now, or would you like to wait until race time? I don't want to race around Car Town too fast, so I'll just put them on at the track. I need to get some extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline. Then I can race in the Car Town 500. Bet you're gonna go zip like the dickens around that racetrack with those tires. I sure hope so. I don't think I need any more of these today. I already helped Chuck fix his tire. It'll sure be fun to be able to drive fast around the racetrack, but I'll always have to remember to be safe. Hope I can make it down to the speedway for the race. If I do, I'll be rooting for you. Thanks, Chuck. Bet you're gonna go zip like the dickens around that racetrack with those tires. I sure hope so. I should go pick produce for Mr. Baldini so I can earn some coins. <laughs> Excuse me, Betsy Bulldozer. I was wondering if I could borrow your shovel. I need to help Mrs. Airbag, and it would sure come in handy. Ah, oh, you know I'd like to, but I got a heap of work ahead of me today. Only time I ever take a break is to suck down a big old fat milkshake. Of course, I forgot it today, so I'll be missing my break. I have a great idea, Betsy. If I bring you a milkshake, then you could take a milkshake break, and maybe then I could borrow your shovel. But I'm liking it. You're on. And make sure it's a really big one. Okay. A fire was reported today on Valley Road. An old construction shed apparently caught fire. Smokey, the fire engine, received the call and raced to the scene. Thanks to Putt-Putt, who reported the emergency. <laughs> There's nothing like a good, thick, sweet milkshake to keep me going. I like them, too. They're great. It'll be great if I win the race, but even if I don't, it'll be fun just to be in it. Soon as you bring me a milkshake, you can borrow the shovel. I got no problem with that. Great, Betsy. I'll get you one soon. Some like your milkshakes all gussied up with whipped cream and those little maraschino cherry things, but not me. I like them plain, simple, and big. Gee, me too, Betsy. Boy, I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't found my hook, Putt-Putt. You sure are a great pal. I'm glad to help, Pete. You're a great pal, too. Yo, so, Maxi, I got a joke. Yeah, what else is new? Okay, so try me. So, brother my boy, where does a bird go when it loses its tail? Uh, well, beats me. The retail store. <laughs> I got it, I got it. All right, that's good. It says ice cream. Hi again, Putt-Putt. Just order up when you're ready. Okay, Rover, I will. <laughs> Ever think about visiting the moon again, Putt-Putt? Maybe. It could be fun. How about you? I don't know. Right now, I'm really happy to be right here in Car Town with all my great friends. One more giant jumbo milkshake, Rover. Another milkshake it is. Betsy will like this. Hey, 
Hey, I heard you're thinking about racing in the Car Town 500. I am, Rover. I think it'll be fun. It'll be more than fun. It'll be great. Yeah, I can't wait. Got that milkshake, Andy? Yes, I've got it right in my glove box. Excellent. Am I ever ready for a break? Hope you bring me one of them milkshakes soon, but Ever since you mentioned it, I can't think about nothing else. Oh, don't worry. I'll get you one, Betsy. Then I can borrow that shovel. Soon as you bring me a milkshake, you can borrow this shovel. I got no problem with that. Great, Betsy. I'll get you one soon. Here you go, Betsy. One giant jumbo milkshake. Thanks a bunch, Putt Putt. There's nothing like taking a break and drinking a giant jumbo milkshake. Say, I was wondering, Betsy, since you're on your break, would you mind if I borrowed your shovel? I need it to help out Mrs. Airbag. You go right ahead, Putt Putt. I won't be able to do any work during my milkshake break. Just make sure you return it as soon as you're done so I can get back to work. Okay, Betsy Bulldozer, I will. Thanks. I need to get some extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline. Then I'll be ready for the big race. If I can get off work on time, I may roll on down to the speedway and watch the race. It's going to be really exciting. You bet your bumpers it is. Hello, Putt-Putt. Did you find a shovel? I sure did. Now I can go dig up Mr. Airbag's four hubcaps. Wonderful. All you have to do is head around to the backyard. Ralphie will show you the way. Not here. Nothing there. I don't see anything here. Nope, nothing in there. empty. Oh well. Nope, not here. I don't see anything here. Nope, nothing in there. That hole is empty. Oh well. Once I raced in the big race, did you know that? No, how did you do? I came in second, right behind Tammy Torpedo. That's great. here. Nothing there. That hole is empty. Oh well.
Nope, not here. Nope, nothing in there. Nope, not here. Nothing there. That hole is empty. Oh well. I don't see anything here. Nope, nothing in there. Nothing there. Nope, not here. I don't see anything here. Nope, nothing in there. That hole is empty. Oh well. Nope, nothing in there. Nothing there. Anything here? Nope, not here. That hole is empty. Oh well. Nothing there. Is empty. Oh well. Nope, nothing in there. I don't see anything here. Nope, not here. Nope, nothing in there. Nothing there. I don't see anything here. Nope, not here. empty. Oh well. Nope, not here. I don't see anything here. Nope, nothing in there. Nothing there. That hole is empty. Oh well. Nope, nothing in there. Nope, not here. See anything here?
I found another one! Hot ziggity! Would you look at this? A hubcap, some ancient treasure, and an old gas can. I can't wait to tell Mrs. Airbag. Mrs. Airbag, guess what? I found all four hubcaps, precious ancient treasures, and an old gas can. Oh my, Ralphie has been busy. Thank you so much, Putt-Putt. Mr. Airbag will be so happy. You can keep the gas can, Putt-Putt. You earned it. Gee, thanks. Now I guess I better return the shovel to Betsy. Don't you worry about that, Putt-Putt. I'll do it for you. Thanks, Mrs. Airbag. I just stopped by to see how you were doing. Well, except for a few fence in my dender. I mean dents in my fender. I couldn't be better. That's just what Redline Rick said I needed for the big race. Great! Wow, this is extra high powered. Today, after the Car Town 500, don't forget to tune in to Fortunate Wheels on Channel 5. You'll see Car Town's very own Van White spin the big wheel for a chance at winning luxury seat covers. <laughs> Extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline. Fill her up. Great. I've got enough for the race. Hey, this is great. I did everything I needed to do to enter the Car Town 500. Hot ziggity. I'm ready to race. Hi, Redline Rick. I got all the things I need for the race. That's great, Putt-Putt. Just in time. Go on over to the garage, then, and boys get y'all fixed up real race car like. I'll meet you out on the racetrack. Hey, <laughs> oh, oh, you look like you're as ready to race as. Something that's really ready to race. I sure am. Well then, go ahead on up to the starting line. We're just about to start. Contest them. Start your engines. On your marks. Get set. Go!
was fun. As I always say, it's not if you win or lose. It's how you race around the track. And you raced around the track real nice. Way to go, buddy. Thanks, Redline Rick. So how about it? You want to race again? I sure do, Redline Rick. Racing in the Car Town 500 is the best fun ever. We're well, giddy up, partner. Let's go race. Contestants, start your engines. On your marks. Get set. Go! I did it! How about that? First place! You were cruising! Good job out there, Butt Butt! Thanks, Redline Rick! So what do you say? You wanna go again? I think I've raced enough for today. Well then, let's go to the winner circle! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the champagne! And most fastest racer in the car down 500, Putt Putt! Way to go, buddy! Wow! Thanks a lot! I'd like to thank everyone in Car Town for helping me get all the things I needed. And Smokey, thanks for putting out that big fire. I'll see you all next time. And don't forget, it's not if you win or lose, it's how you race around the track. Oh. Uh -huh.